Hey everyone, I just got back from New York City. I got back in my house just before midnight this morning, I guess, or in the middle of the night, however you want to look at it. So if I look tired, there is a reason. Also, I was so tired that I forgot to take my contacts out. So my eyes are killing me. So as soon as I finish this video, I'm taking them out. I think I've just, I'm too tired. Anyway, I did do a little bit of shopping. Actually, now that I look at this pile, maybe a lot of shopping. And I wanted to show you all the goodies that I picked up. Some of this I did not buy. It was given to me. Those will be at the end. And I will tell you specifically which ones were given to me for free. And as always, I will mark it down below. So uh, let's just go random. I went to, I think, the largest Sephora I've seen in the United States in Times Square. And I picked up this blender cleanser. And it's a solid one. I haven't even opened it yet, so I don't know. I can't open it, I don't think, without destroying my nails. Uh, this is a cleanser for your beauty blender, but it's, hear it? It's solid, so it's travel friendly. Although really, I can't imagine wanting to clean it while I'm, like, unless I was out of town for weeks or something. I can't open this. But it's a travel friendly alternative to our original liquid cleanser. Wet the sponge and then kind of like smoosh it around, lather it up, and then squeeze or stroke into the soap. Work into lather, rinse well, squeeze out, and let air dry. Okay, so that's great. Got that. Um, there's all kinds of stuff mixed up in here. What else do we have? Ah, yes. Got a couple things from NARS. I really don't have too much from NARS, and I, I'm curious about this brand. And something I've been meaning to buy for a long time and finally decided to reward myself with is the lip liner in, I kid you not, it is, do you see this? Wait for it. What does that say? Yes! my name like how cool is that i oh, tried this a long time ago in the store and thought it was a dark brick red it is not it's actually quite a pretty color looks like that and that's you know full on i would maybe you know like smudge it i don't want to say smoke it out but you know soften the line a bit this was at the store called Dwayne reed which if you go to a big one Reminded me a lot of the drugstores in Canada and the UK. They have like normal, you know, Maybelline drugstore type stuff. And then they have high-end stuff, the crazy high-end stuff. And they have the balm products in there. So everyone's been telling me that I needed to get this. It's the Mary Luminizer um, highlighter, I guess. It doesn't say. Highlighter, shimmer, eyeshadow. And if you haven't seen it, it looks like that. And I have it on today. It might be worn off by now because I kind of was leaning on my face. Can you see? A little blotchy. Looks like it's like full on crazy shimmer. And I tried it with my usual duo fiber brush in New York and it was way too much. And then this morning I tried it with a fan brush, which is a little better. But like this is some hardcore. This is hardcore. Just go just light hand, girls. Light hand. NARS got this at Sephora. This is the blush in Sin. I've been eyeing this for a while. I have it on right now. It looks a little much in the viewfinder, but in person it's pretty pretty basic. This is a really flattering color, I have to say. I'm really enjoying this. And it has a little bit of a satin, I'd say, finish to it. And there it is swatched, but you know blushes never swatch well. But see that shimmer right there? Yeah beautiful and it blends out really easily and um, I really like this blush. I have nothing like this. I'm very excited for that. The other thing I picked up at Dwayne Reed was this lip liner that I have on now. It's the Jordana Retractable Pencil in Rock and Rose. I just really wanted more of a pink or rosy toned one. That's a natural shade. It's this top one up there and uh, I have it on right now. I'm wearing that with my YSL uh, the newest one I picked up, this one, that looks like that. I picked that up before the trip. It's been in a previous video. So I have to say that I really didn't leave Midtown. So for those New Yorkers that are now disgusted with me that I have been to New York City twice and never seen Central Park, I'm sorry. I know Midtown is not your favorite location. It's not mine. Um, but there is a, there are a few things to see in Midtown and one of them is the Inglot store in Times Square. So I bought... Can I just tell you, their stuff is cheap, like crazy cheap, and that's without the pro card. I, can I can't even imagine what it would be like with a pro card. Apparently, they're going to start carrying Inglot in a bunch of Macy's stores, but it hasn't happened yet, at least by me. 
So I got the empty palette with 10 shadows. You can put 10 shadows in. How do you open this? Oh, it, oh. <laughs> it swivels like that. Oh no, it just comes off. Okay, so I have to fill this. And that is no problem because I bought 10 shadows. Um, I will get to those in a minute. I picked up a brush, the 6SS. I was told this is like their favorite. I'm obsessed with these tapered crease brushes. I don't know what to tell you. So I haven't used it yet. And now I will never be able to get this back in there. Yeah, no, but that's what it looks like. I think it's really cool. It has potential. I just, it reminds me of my Mac 222, which is discontinued. And this thing was like, I had the receipt somewhere, but it was these, I don't even know if it was $20, which is not bad for a professional level brush. And I did buy one um, nail polish because that's what they're kind of originally famous for with their nail polishes. And this is really cool. It looks like duo shimmer, like a little faint shimmer in there. It reminds me very much of Paradoxal by Chanel. I swatched it in the store and it goes on like um, a cream, but this shimmer makes it seem not so flat. So I'm gonna test this against Chanel Paradoxal. That will probably be in a, like a video thing. So, cause that is a cool color. Okay, on to the colors. So what happens was I walk into Inglot and I'm thinking I'm so cool, I know exactly what I want. And I got in there, I was so overwhelmed by everything. I just kind of shut down. So I Googled 10 best uh, Inglot shadows to own and Temtalia actually had one of course she did and she listed the top 10 neutrals which are my favorite I will admit so I went off off list a little but this I primarily bought what she told me to because you know she was talking just directly to me um, anyway so these none of these have names like they have numbers so this is 330 this was on her list and I like this because that's my birthday no I like this because it's sort of a peach you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause this video, I'm gonna unwrap all these boogers, and then I will unbox them, because this could get annoying. 10 minutes, they come in these little packages, almost like food, and you have to peel the corner off, and then it peels off, but it's not, anyway, wow, they are, they are serious. So, if you're not a fan of neutral or brown, this is gonna be incredibly boring, so I will try to do the, them very quickly, and I will list every number below. And I will link you to the Temptalia article. So 330 is like a matte peachy, um, like a brow bone, but it's more peach tone than cream or champagne. So I thought that was kind of a nice change. Then there is 397. Their neutrals are in the 300s, so. And that is just a really pretty, almost like a rose gold, but really soft. Let's make some order here. This is 461 and it has shimmer in it. Looks like that. This one. Kind of maybe a lid or a blending out color, a basic crease color. This is 360. They're all going to look alike, I'm just warning you now. And this is more of a cool tone. There. A taupey color, and I'm try. I try to get colors that either I don't have, or that I do, and I want to compare it to another one. This is 342. Looks exactly the same as the last one I swatched, and I'll do that on my thumb. It's. This is the. This is the one I just swatched. They look similar. Hang on. Yes, indeedy, they do. One's more cool tone, one's a little warmer. I know, you have to be a makeup junkie to appreciate the difference. Then the last five, uh, this is 337, and I'll put this on my thumb. Looks like that. Very soft, pretty. Then we're getting a little deeper. This is 402, and it looks like this. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. Like that. And I'll do, you know, more, maybe a tutorial or talk about this more once I use them, but this is just first swatches out of the packaging. This is for 22. Looks like 
looks like that. It's this one. And then the last two, this is 421. I really don't have a deep bronzy color. Looks like that. That is oh, gorgeous. And then this dark chocolatey brown, 329. That's dark. That would make a great liner. One. So here they are in all their glory. Um, and yes, I'm aware that there's some major similarities going on here, but um, they all have their little nuances. And when you are a makeup collector, a subtle nuance is all the difference between one color and the other. So there we go. Now onto the stuff that I did not purchase. If you, uh, oh, and I had to tell you, these are um, $6 each. Each of these is $6. So for a single eyeshadow, it's really not bad. Um, I meant to only get six. So I don't know what happened. Kind of lost my mind in the Inglot store. So, um, the stuff that was given to me, if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, then you saw my little photo journey through New York City. And when I checked into the hotel, I had a little goodie bag, not a little goodie bag, a big goodie bag full of goodies. And you know what? I have a lot of blessings in my life. I don't need to keep it all. So I'm going to show you this and two of you are going to get some of these goodies. Well, each of you is going to get some of them. They're all going away, but okay, of course, um, there were two boxes of the Pons Luminous BB Plus Finish, uh, Pons Luminous Finish BB Plus Cream, and um, one's in light and one's in medium. I still have my backups of both. I would like to give these away. So make sure in the comment, besides just commenting on whatever it is that you wanna comment, if you would like to win it, um, mention if you prefer the light or the medium, because I wear light, I'm just saying. Uh, that would make a difference, so light or medium. And then I'm gonna divide these up, so each of you will get one, one of you will get the cream cleanser. This is all part of their luminous finish and luminous uh, clean collection. And I've heard great things. I personally have not used them, so I can't recommend them, but I've heard good things about them. So the Luminous Clean Cream Cleanser, it says it gently draws out trapped impurities and makeup to brighten dull skin with soft white kaolin clay and moisturizing ingredients. It's hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic. Okay, so that's the cream cleanser. And then the other winner will get the Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. This is deep cleans and exfoliates dull skin to renew its radiance. It also has the kaolin clay, whatever that is. So one of you will get this cleanser, one of you will get the other one. And then the other two goodies that I have for you, this is the Luminous Moisture Day Lotion with SPF 15. And um, it's supposed to like give you a glowy finish. It got a little smushed in the um, suitcase, but I have not opened it, I promise. So that is going, and I haven't decided who gets what, but one of you will, each winner will get a BB cream and then two other products. And then the other product was the Wet Cleansing Toilets, Towelettes. And um, I've heard good things about these as well. So thank you to Pons and Unilever for leaving me those goodies. They also gave me a jar of Swedish fish, which I am working my way through steadily but surely, and some macarons and other things. Anyway, um, so if, I kind of touched on this, but if you would like to win the Pons products, um, there will be two winners. One gets the light BB cream and two products, and one gets the medium BB cream and two products. I haven't decided which goes with what, so it's going to be random. One. This video should go live on October 17th, so you have until October 22nd to make a comment and make sure you specify light or medium, and then I will contact you through your YouTube inbox, so make sure you know how to access that. And um, if I don't hear from you by the 24th, two new winners, or a new winner will be um, acknowledged. I'll put all those details, of course, in the detail box below. So thank you so much for all your support and kind words and encouragement, and um, it was a wonderful experience. And uh, I, I just still honored to have had it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my goodies. I look forward to using these products and giving you a little more information about them as I do use them. Hope, good luck to the two future winners, whoever you are. I hope you enjoy your Pons BB cream as much as I have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.